welcome back to part You're the butt two. Of the joke. <laughs> He's the butt of the joke, yeah. <laughs> Episode uh, this seventy. Been knocked over, I guarantee it. <laughs> Get off my phone. Hey, come here, Andy Cat. Come on. Uh, okay. The cat's gotten bigger. Yeah. All the Andy's been watching. That's right. But we're gonna talk about this is the pay per view review. review. You know what I say? Internet loves cats. So. That's true. There's Google cats everywhere. And we're going to talk about SummerSlam 2000 or SummerSlam 02. That's what they could call them. Probably a porn name too. The Submission Kitties. <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> like, I said, or, like I said in part one, the date was August 25th, <laughs> 2002. I'm going to continue on there, yes. 14,797. And we're there's a NASA Veterans Memorial Coliseum. The heat match was Spike Lilly defeating Steven Richards. Two minutes and 35 seconds with an old school ECW match. Yeah, it was. Very short, though. It was. Two minutes and 35. Wow, they must have talked about the main event a lot. I'm thinking to myself, they where's the... They had 60 minutes. Well, not many, but 45 minutes. There's no women on here. I was thinking the women might have got longer than they did, but never mind. There's no women and on there here. There are no women matches? No women's matches. She missed. Yes, that's she was. Coffin? Okay. Just hold on. Cat here. <laughs> no comment. No comment. The first match. The first match of 2002 SummerSlam. Kurt Angle <laughs> defeating Ray Buyaka Buyaka 619 Mysterio. Mysterio. By submission. Take on, it's going to be the ang Angle Lock. In 9 minutes and 20 seconds. You mean the Swagger Lock? Same thing. Nobody cares about him anymore anyway. Oh, this is, wow, two good matches. Three good matches. Right there in the open. Back to back to back, yeah. Number two was Ric Flair defeating Chris Jericho by submission in 10 minutes and 22 seconds. Now, somebody's got sour straws. Third match was Edge defeating Eddie. 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 Er, 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 er. I'm going to spell it out for you. S-A-W-F-T. <laughs> Eddie Guerrero. That's a noise I'm used to hearing. Right yeah, I know. <laughs> 11 minutes and 47 seconds. That's a long match there. It is. So far. Yes. Then we have another but short match. But two can definitely tear down the house. Of course. The fourth match, the Un-Americans, Lance Storm or Christian, the WWF, or the WWE, Tag Team Champions. Tag Team Champions of the World! Defeat a book of tea, book of tea, book of tea, book of tea. See, instead of saying it five times, you say it five times, there you go. And. Cold dust. <laughs> that was right, that's all. Saw the spell come out. <laughs> In nine minutes and 37 seconds. So they retain the title, so. The longest match of the night is next. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Number seven, I forgot them two got to steal every spot. Yeah, you got the longest match, yeah. The next match was the Close. fifth match if you lose if you lost count here. Which it was like 420 with a funny. <laughs> RVD defeated Chris <coughs> Benoit. <coughs> that one guy. Who was the champion? The Intercontinental Champion in 16 minutes and 30 seconds. So the second longest match on this. Second longest match on this. And why in the world are they facing each other? That is weird. Were they trying weird. to give that man a push? <laughs> like the 17th Out push he had? Ha ha ha! Rest in peace! <laughs> Literally, that's funny because he's facing Undertaker. Number 60, Undertaker defeated Test. No big surprise there. Yeah. Test, this is a test, this is a test, this is before, a test. Before he had all the uh, steroid uh, pimples all over his back. What? What? Come on, what are you he trying didn't, to say? He didn't have all that what? until he was in the ECW. What? When test he left and came back. Come on. Come on. You saw how small he was when he was there, and then when he came back for ECW. All right. And the seventh match. Eight minutes and 18 seconds left. Was unsanctioned. Unsanctioned? <laughs> Lights out, if you will. It was a street fight. It was two friends who, who were major, major enemies. But Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid, Mr. WrestleMania. Even though he lost all the time. Yeah, that's true. Defeated Triple H. 
in 27 minutes and 20 seconds. Now that was a slobber knocker. Slobber. He beat him like a government me. That was vintage Shawn Michaels and Triple H. I wasn't going Michael Cole. Right, I found that time. I understand. Did you tell him how long? That will put butts in the seats. Yeah, I said 27-20. That's good. And the third longest match of the night. Number eight. Brock Lesnar. The main event. Brock Lesnar. The well, beast that's more like, that's more like the next big thing. That's more like Vince doing it than, that's true. than Paul doing it. That's true. Because he goes, Brah! Red faced. He does. He does. With Paul Heyman defeating The Rock, who was the undisputed WWE champion and made Brock Lesnar the youngest at that time. WWE champion of all time until he quit the company and they said, Randy Orton, hurry up. Here's the belt, we're gonna take it right off. 16 minutes and one second. They went over their time by one second. Probably says like 16 minutes. But okay. SummerSlam 2003 is coming up. First time in history. Yes, it is. Huge. SummerSlam 2003. Bring down the cage. And not just any cage, not the blue bar cage. No. Not the hell in the cell cage. No. Not the normal cage that you climb over in. No. We're talking about elimination. Shamba for the first time ever created by Eric Bischoff, which you know that's just storyline. Yeah. With Triple H being the champion. The world heavyweight yeah. champion. At this point, the undisputed championships were split up. You had a raw champion which was always Triple H, because they handed him the belt, and you had a SmackDown champion. At this point, the main event for SummerSlam 2003 was a Raw champion chip match. Champion. With Triple H defending the belt against Goldberg. Goldberg. Go exactly. And then he, like, hits his head up against the wall. Yeah. You're smart. A, punches a limo when he busts his hand. He busts his hand and, and, and uh, rips an artery. And That's so WCW. So WCW. Plus, Y2J Chris Jericho. <laughs> no comment flat. Good. The Break young... the walls down! She, she <laughs> is scared to death. Shima should be scared to death. And Pierre has probably peed his pants. <laughs> and then we have the youngest of you champion of all time, probably, but not at this point. Yeah, yet. Not Randy Orton. And then we have <laughs> Big Daddy Coo. He'll probably break a quad on his way up steps. Exactly. Tag. Yes. He went to go tag Bubba Ray <laughs> Dudley and them in that match on Raw. And he slides into first base. <laughs> Safe. He's okay, he's like a big baby who knows how to use his legs. <laughs> That's horrible. But he really how'd you get so successful? Right, he's always breaking a quad or a Okay, I'm gonna say it. Who'd you blow? <laughs> We're not talking about blowing out your kneecap. Um, but he does that a lot, so. He does big daddy cool choo choo Kevin Nash. Choo Choo Kevin Nash and his best friend, Triple H's best friend, Xbox's best friend, because they all rode the coat down to the south. And Scott Hall's best friend. Mr. WrestleMania. Mr. WrestleMania, uh, Mr. Number One, I guess. Not, not, uh, George South. I'll um, super kick you and never give you a match. Never give you a match. Um, the icon. The main event. The main event. What's the other name is for? The Heartbreak Kid. The showstopper. The showstopper. That's the word for it. Yeah. Mega. Hey, you got the Vince. You got the Vince down today. I do. <laughs> you do. You know why? I, I, yeah. I figured that stuff out because I love the DX segment where Triple H and Shawn Michaels were Vince McMahon and uh, Shane. Almost said Stephanie. That would have been fun to see. Shawn Michaels running around like Stephanie McMahon. Shane O'Mac. Hilarious. Look at me, Dad. Look at me, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Dad. Look at me. Stop, Stop it. it. Love it. Best, best flipping dress-up promo I've ever seen in my life. Because they had their, they wasn't handcuffed like these people today are. Exactly. Yeah. They just went out there and did their deal. 
How would the attitude error have been? Now we're really going off now. <laughs> How would the attitude error have been? Discussion time. If you handcuffed Austin, you handcuffed Undertaker, you handcuffed uh, Sean, the X, all that. Oh, no, no, you got to do the standards. Then WCW probably would have won. You're right. Because when WCW started taking the reins, they were actually letting them go and having credit control. But then standards and practices came into play. That was the real standards and practices or fake standards? I'm not talking about the Harris Boys. <laughs> but the real standard of practice. I'm see, not talking about I'm not talking about Jackal. I know that you have to uh play by the rules. You, you do. Because if you don't, you don't make any money. You don't make any money, you go out of business. That's I understand true. that. That's true. But to be this bad, and we're bad right now. We are really bad. So the current product? Yes. The current product is really bad right now. Oh. Okay. Because you don't. I mean you you oh we're gonna push it this we're gonna push this envelope just a Okay, we're gonna bring it back a lot. That's we're gonna push it a little bit. Oh, we're gonna bring it back. Oh, for you, we're not gonna push you at all. Oh, this guy here, push away. Let Paul People Heyman, let Paul. Hate that. Only Paul Heyman, Stone Cold, or The Rock can come on Raw and cuss. And John Cena. Oh, of course. Every now and then, a little A word here and there. But I mean, there you go. Paul Heyman caught her taking the B way. Female dog. A yes. female dog. And, it got, and it's gonna get them sales for SummerSlam. It will I mean, pay. Why pay PG? Why pay pay fifty nine? Really? I say oh, I pay fifty nine ninety nine. Well, you can pay nine ninety nine. Yeah, okay. Fifty nine ninety nine to watch uh, Ronda Rousey win in thirty seconds. But uh, yeah. Nine ninety nine, people. Oh, JBL doesn't do that every freaking week. Every week. Oh, you missed that? Didn't you? Yes, he has little signs. He said fifty nine ninety nine for the price for a pay per view, and then shows the WWE price. I bet it's every And he said, sure, start your free month now. Wow. How about I lower the price? How about $7.99? Maybe get more people. Not Hulu. No. That's why Hulu's at $7.99 because they had the daggum advertisements. And I'm talking about, they didn't even have advertisements. They talk about advertisements. I've seen two. The whole time I've been on it. <laughs> yes, I two. know. Yeah. Ooh, the Mountain Dews, I tell you. Oh, you seen Mountain Dews? I've seen uh, somebody losing their finger and, and a, an action figure for the I saw Mountain Dew. That's the only things I've ever seen. It's a couple Mountain Dew commercials. But Hulu, every day, um, few minutes, you have a 30 second commercial. It gets on my nerves. Yeah, it is pretty bad. Every second, they cut. That's why Netflix is $8.99 and you get no commercials. Nope. nope. Why can't Hulu go up a dollar and take out commercials? You know? Probably because they're making a killing off those commercials, so they drop it by a dollar, and they made a killing both ways. Because they gave you the current stuff. Exactly. Way more current than Netflix. Netflix, you got to wait. Yeah. Sometimes you get current stuff. True. Sometimes you, you got to wait. All right, folks. Well, that is it for part but two. But who doesn't have Walking Dead? Like, that's stupid. Well, they have Seinfeld. There's no else Ugh. So, you got to pick and choose. Please. Seinfeld got to run yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You got it's a show about nothing. That, you got this. You get that's this. how successful that were. A show Amazon, about nothing. Amazon gets this. You get this. So it's awesome. You know, not everybody's gonna have everything. They should. You're right. But that's it for part two. Fear the Walking Dead. Goodness. I'm August. I'm excited. I don't have cable, but I'm still excited to hear about it. Oh, it's good. I have to get the spoilers for this guy. You're the Walking Dead. Yeah. We'll just put that on our as our main one. Hey, everybody on land. We talked Fear the Walking Dead. What? A million Wait, views. You had to wait 13 minutes to hear Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> now you heard it six times though, yeah, so right, yeah. it qualifies for the name of the show. Walking Dead. Walk, walk, walk. The Walking Dead. Wow, we heard you. Yes. So that's how we're gonna propaganda. That's how we're gonna get. <laughs> that's how we're gonna get you to watch this show for out the game. Hey, it works for everybody else. It does. We'll just be like Hogan and lie to everybody. <laughs> we discussed Fear the Walking Dead. Nothing. Nothing except for... Coming up next in our next minute, <laughs> Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> we were not town this week, folks. <laughs> next segment, Fear the Walking Dead, <laughs> part three. Yes. We're going to count down Fear the Walking Dead. What you going to expect on Fear the Walking Dead? Yes. The top ten people who died. <laughs> Even though I don't know who any of these characters, they're brand new people. They are brand new, yes. I'm scared about that. Is but it it's a current product. I mean, current now. <laughs> what do you mean current now? It would be now. It's when it starts. So, the Fear of the Walking Dead, is, is it supposed to Fear be... Fear of the Walking Dead is like now. 
can somebody start getting sick? Can somebody start getting sick? And then here we go. And then so it, it's the very beginning. Yeah. It shows the very beginning of when everybody's normal because I know yes. regular walking dead was just a, he woke up from a coma. And, oh my god, everybody's yeah, crazy. Everybody's already dead. Did you ever really poke holes in that though? Really think about it. Oh, yeah. He's in a coma. There's no doctors to take care of him. I know. No, he can't have oxygen. Oxygen's gonna run out. The IVs are gonna run out. Power went out. Huh? The power went out. Thank you. You lose the main power, and then you lose the hospital generator, and then you're done. Thank you. So, so they, can, they can always go, he went, oh, oh, you know. Feeling not losing the oxygen more came up enough to. Oh, my word. Hopefully they just don't do the Dallas thing. It was all a dream. That's what they're talking about. I know. They're going to ruin the whole thing. It's going to be like lost. But guess what? Robert Kirkman already had his money, so he don't give a damn. Who's that? That's the guy who invented The Walking Dead. Oh. So if that's the last scene of him waking up from a dream, I got you for 10, 11 seasons. All right. <laughs> Have you ever read the comics to see how it ends? Oh. It's or comics. is there an ending? There's not. The comics still going. Oh, well, that gum it. Yeah, there is no ending. That, see, that ruins the whole thing. Uh, all right, folks. See, we a, did talk about that's Walking, our Walking Dead. Dead segment. We may all. have a spinoff show yes. discussing The Walking Dead every week. And yeah, everybody like else does. Billions of views. Well, we know where our bread's buttered now. Yes. <laughs> we'll do The Walking Dead, through The Walking Dead, and, and football, and, and then a little bit of wrestling. So, yeah. And MMA. We'll throw the MMA. And we'll, if we do that, anyway. what? We do talk about Ron Rousey. Yeah, we'll talk about, and we'll talk about Sam Punk when he gets his ass whooped oh, Lord. in his first match. Yeah, we, talk get, about, we talk about Brock Lesnar. Unless they give him some do. nobody who's just going to cough over dead when he gets in the thing. With him. Sam Punk. Oh, sorry. Yes. Phil Brooks. Phil Brooks versus an 87-year-old. Wins in, year wins old in seven seconds in his first match. <laughs> versus an 87-year-old yeah, MMA no. fighter. Versus, uh, what's his name? Uh, the referee from boxing. <laughs> the Bill <judge>. Slane. <laughs> Now what they'll do? What is he even they'll, alive? No, probably not. <laughs> what they'll do <gasps> is they'll get a name, a name from the past. Who, who probably can still go? But, but who don't really care? But he will mm, uh, be looking at his paycheck and kind of tap out. There you go. So Punk gets the win over a decent name guy. And then after that, he can lose whatever. Yeah, Brock lost. So. Only once. Okay, that's our. Then con- he said, "I'm done." That's our controversy. Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, and, talk for and part two. And <laughs> yes. And I don't know we hit football, so we can't talk about that right now. First September, kick it off shortly. <laughs> hey, there you go, football talk. Yes. Part two is just miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. But let's. We're gonna get to part three here in a few clicks. As we talk about countdowns, everybody's favorite. This, this one's going to get more views than they're going to test a blanchard review. I doubt it. Walking down! We'd have to have a pair of breasts walking from the camera. <laughs> like on an airplane. <laughs> when the crash and it's coming and takes off. <laughs> See the breast. Stay for the show. <laughs> that is horrible. It is horrible. <laughs> She was eating for a second. What the hell are you eating over there? Silly stream straws. I know. Ah. Sour straws. Sheamus is eating sour straws. Ah. So there's your plug for sour straws. Now give us a sponsor money. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about anything. That's why I come for this McDonald's cup. Oh, I mean, no. Oh. Ronald wow. McDonald's cup. You said the name. I know. That's why I had to go like this. That's why I look weird when I'm drinking my drink. You cannot know this is lip. Oh, it's lip. Don't say it. They don't give us money. On TV, we just like take out a litter. <laughs> Have you seen the new hamburger from McDonald's? No, I haven't. Oh, you know how the old one looked. The old hamburger? The old hamburger. Oh, hamburger. Yes. What did they do to change you? Oh, I'll show you the picture in the break. You come on back to part three, and I'm going to show you. married to a man? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, controversy. <laughs> now they just turned off the show. Yeah, <laughs> We're not. Damn them hooking lovers. <laughs> Uh, we, we, this train has derailed off the Ronald track. Ronald McDonald on a hamburger. We saw, we saw Mickey James Why? on the track and we derailed off the track. So Exactly. Yeah. Didn't want to kill her. Didn't want to kill her. <laughs> I got to see this picture so we got to go. Yeah, so click back. <laughs> Part three, which would be probably over there or down there somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. Over the rainbow. Oh, you said rainbow. Oh, that's trademarked by those people. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get all the fans in here. You're just like, those people. 
send your hate mail to Mike Hogan no. at gmail.com. We're going to send it to Jeb Salvage. <laughs> we're send it to <laughs> exactly. He'll be like, Wolf Wilson. And he can play it on his guitar. So, <laughs> see you in part three of Countdown <laughs> of episode 70. Right here at Top Road Reality on the YouTube. I'm Mike Hogan, who's getting choked up. And I'm Justin Carter. And we'll see everyone in a few clicks.